Hey guys, it's Jen. It's really cold and rainy outside, so today we're gonna to stay in and we're going to create some DIY aroma mood enhancing candles. And these aren't just any ordinary candles. These are all natural. And if you head out to the supermarket, it's more than likely you're going to pick up a candle that has paraffin wax in it. And you really don't want that because it's a byproduct of petroleum. And inhaling all of that can actually start to create respiratory issues. So today we're going to use beeswax. I've got some coconut oil and as a side note to coconut oil, you need it for all your DIY recipes. So keep a nice big one handy. And then I've got a selection of essential oils. You can really choose the ones that you like. And the reason why I like to put oils in because they actually enhance the mood of what you're trying to create in the environment. I like to light candles during the day, not just at night. So I'm going for a bit of a cheerful vibe today since it's so cold outside. I've got some lemon. I've also got bergamot as well as geranium and ylang ylang. Let's get started. We're going to take our beeswax and um, I have a pretty large pot here so I can just place it all in the pot to melt down. If you have a smaller pot, of course you want to chop it down and then of course our coconut oil. So the beeswax is now melted down. So we're going to head over and grab our thermometer and we are just going to simply place it in and we are looking for about 175 degrees. Once it reaches there, we're going to turn the heat off. Yep, there we go. So heat comes down. And now we're just gonna let that set until it reaches about 145 degrees from which we'll then start adding in our essential oils and then doing the big pour. We're gonna move over to our jar, which is going to hold our candle. And we'll grab the wick. And then we're just going to make sure that the wick is about a quarter of an inch off the ground of the actual jar itself. And then we'll wrap the wick around the pencil. And obviously you want your wick right in the center of the candle. So we're gonna hold it right there. And then let's look at the temperature. Yep, there we go, 145 degrees. So now I'm going to pour these lovely essential oils in. You can choose whatever essential oils you like. These ones are really mm, going to really lift the fragrance and the mood of the room. I'm going to look at about 75 drops all in. And you can choose as many fragrances, essential oils as you like. Mm. The smell is coming along nicely. And finally, last but not least, is the Yelang Yelang, which is really one of my most favorite essential oils of all. Mm. So the reason why we're actually waiting to 145 degrees is because we don't want the essential oils to be corrupted. We really want to have the full effects. So we let the temperature drop just enough so that we can put them in. So now I'm just going to stir it all in. And now it's time to pour our candle. So we're going to head over to our jar and we're going to pour it in. And then we're going to readjust our wicks right here so that it's stable in the center. And so now we're going to pop this in the fridge for about one to two days to set. But I've gone ahead and created one for you ahead of time. And this is the final product of our do-it-yourself aroma mood enhancing candle. Mm, smells really delightful. We would love you to try it out. Let us know how the recipe is for you or if you're using different types of essential oils, we would love to hear your blends. And remember to sign up for thrivemarket.com and get 25 to 50% off all of your favorite healthy goods. Let's thrive.